This is the state of Lebanon. Its institutions are close to collapse. And now they're being robbed of their past. The state-run National News Agency's archives have been stolen, but some officials believe the intended target was the hardware itself, not what was stored in it. It was mainly the server and the computers and some batteries. Um, because we still have all the hard copies of the pictures, and we're talking about millions of pictures. Don't forget that yeah, we, have, we have a lot of, uh, of strangers in Lebanon, we have a lot of refugees, we have a lot of uh, poor people that are able to do anything they, they can do just to eat and, and, and to, to, to live. Amid an economic collapse, metal scrap from manhole covers and power cables are worth more than the minimum wage. People are desperate. I've been working for 40 years, and if I don't work every day, I won't be able to survive. And even then, I'm not securing 10% of my needs. There's little left of a nearly bankrupt state. Lebanon has had an unstable past, to say the least. It's seen a civil war, political crises, and sectarian strife. But many here say today's reality could not be worse. For many, the real crime was committed against a nation by a political establishment blamed for decades of corruption. There's a corrupt elite running the country and nothing's improving. Employees in the public sector aren't given enough money to pay for transport. Of course you can expect crime. The stolen digitalized archives had photos dating back decades, including the years of the Civil War. There were no secret or important files, but they helped tell the story of the country. And while the motive is still not clear, so in many ways does their theft. Zanahudar Al Jazeera, Beirut.